now that you've been practicing the design recipe for two months, let's go back to the basics and think a little bit more strategically about how to choose a template to apply to any given design problem. So let's come back to problem set three. That was the first problem set that required you to use the design recipe. And in that problem set, you did a whole bunch of problems that involved months. So here is a data definition of a month. It's an enumeration because it's one of 12 spelled out possibilities. And at this point, you are pretty familiar with how to write the template for a function that processes a month. It has 12 cases because the data definition has 12 cases. Now, suppose that we want to design a function that just takes a month and abbreviates it to three letters. Here are two examples for how we want January and February to be abbreviated. So we can start to look at how to apply a template. Now, instinctively, you might think, oh, this function takes a month as input, and we're going to return something different based on what month it is. So let's just use the process months template. We can copy the template. We can fill in the cases. And then we'll be able to test our program. Now, both of our tests pass. Those are the January and February tests. But as the orange highlighting shows, there are still 10 out of 12 cases that have not been tested. So we'll have to write tests for those 10 cases in order to call the design done. Also, this program is just kind of too long. There is a good pattern for how to get from January to Jan and February to Feb, we want to, as the purpose says, take the first three letters. And that seems like instead of listing all 12 possibilities, we should be able to do it with a single formula. We should be doing the same thing for each of the 12 cases, even though the result might be different. So some of you, maybe many of you, would write, a different program, a program that just uses the substring function to take the first three letters of the input n. That's a much shorter program. And when you test it, there's no untested code because the program has fewer cases. There are fewer cases to test. So we're pretty happy about that. Now, what template is this shorter, better, easier to test definition following. What template is this? Well, the template that's being followed here is really a template that just says here, this M, let's use M. It doesn't actually treat the month M as an enumeration. It treats the month M as an atomic indivisible piece of input that would just have to be handed to some other function like substring in order to be processed. And that in this case, because the function is so uniform and does something that's kind of the same pattern to all months, a more appropriate template. So you can see even when the function is just such a simple function, it's just one input, it might involve a choice as to what template to apply. We may not want to always apply the template for processing a month. Instead, we might want to apply the template that treats the month as atomic and doesn't do anything that's case by case with respect to the months. So that's a breath month, okay, something to think about. When you have a processing template that's easy to write, you might still not want to apply it. We don't actually prefer to use process month when we write a breath month. Instead, we just want to treat M as an atomic, indivisible input. Okay, let's look at a different function. Let's look at this format months function, which is one of the first exercises in problem set three. What is format months supposed to do? It's supposed to take two inputs, months and months format, and return a string. Okay, what's a month? We've seen that data definition. What's a month format? 
let's remind ourselves what a month format is. Here is the data definition for a month format. It's another enumeration that only has two cases. And so the template for processing a month format is also pretty short. It only has two cases, these two. All right, so now when we write format months, again, we'll have a choice as to how to apply a template. Let's start with the header. It has a month which I'm going to call M, and a month format, which I'm going to call F, as its two inputs. M is a month. So we could apply the template for processing a month. F is a month format, so we could also apply the template for processing a month format. Which template should we apply? 